Good afternoon everybody, it's NCP. Guess what's back on the market? They've got their FDA approval rating and we can now use this for camping and backpacking and any type of water disinfection as you see. Now ideally you want a, a chemical and a uh, mechanical filtration of your water to purify it. Um, Polar Pure is nice because it lasts forever. Indefinite uh, shelf uh, space or storage. Indefinite. Now there are other things, in all honesty, I think I'm going to probably go with chlorine dioxide tablets. Because I can just drop those in my bladder, and let, or my water bladder, and let it go after I filter. Um, I ordered a, a, a Kaden, um Hiker Pro, Backpacker Pro, Backpacker Pro, one of them. I'll put a link below. And I'll put a link to this. This is back in stock, but this goes in and out quick as people buy it. Because of the infinite storage. But I'm not going to necessarily use this for backpacking. I wanted it because it lasts forever and it's an iodine source. Now, <clears throat> the reason I'm doing that is because there's a lot of radiation uh, from Fukushima and stuff like that. And I kind of halfway worry about that. Um, not so much right now, but still in the future. But back in the day, I bought some of these. Now, once you open these, they deteriorate. They, they sublimate to the air. So... This has a finite shelf storage once it's open. Uh, I mean, not really before, like February 06th. It's still good because it's a mineral unopened and sealed. But this, you can you, you can treat with this too. Now, the problem is these bottles. Let me get this out of here. I went ahead and put water in it too, by the way. Did you want to store it with water so it, so the the stuff doesn't sublimate away and keep it tight? The problem is this dot, I can never get these things to work. Um, so I ordered a little electronic aquarium thing, it's uh, two dollars on Amazon, I'll link that too, but it's coming from China so it'll be a long time before it gets here, but I want a little electronic thermometer to measure temperature and you basically, I think you want, I think, don't quote me on this, I think you want four parts per million or something. And based on the water temperature it's how much it has in there. So if we look here. This bottle is 77 degrees. Now, it took a while, but I found the, the thing on the site, on the website, on Polar Pure, on what that is. So, at 77 degrees, we'll need 1.5 capfuls of this. But in the field, or out backpacking, or I, don't know, I don't care for the taste of iodine, but that's just me. You know, I, I, I hate, uh, you know, death and radiation a lot more. But, you know, yeah, to each your own. But... I got this little thing I'm going to dip in there and I'll dip it in my water bottle. I don't think the water temperature out there on the on the water tater per liter, I don't know if that matters or not. I got to read some more, but right now this will kill everything. Now the, uh, the what was it, I think the World Health Organization, I'll put a link to that too, was talking about back uh, backcountry water purification and infection. They said that, that iodine is not really that great, but for, for Guardia. So we're going to use mechanical filtration. Ideally, we're going to boil, uh, use a some type of thing like chlorine dioxide or this or whatever. I mean, this is cheap, it's light, and it does a lot. This is what, uh, 500 gallons. 2,000 quarts. I think that's 500 gallons. And it lasts indefinitely on the shelf. So you can put this in your preps and forget about it. It'll always keep the cap tight. As long as there's iodine crystals in there, the little little balls, you know it's good. So, that being said, you can use this to treat for, um, you know, radiation, uh, your, your uh, thyroid, I guess. Now, when you mix it with um, a citrus, I believe, and we get, we get powdered packs too, but I believe it becomes potassium iodide. I don't know for sure. Uh, I'm not going to do the math on that. Don't feel like it, don't care. It has a child safety cap on it too, so it's not loose right now. But... Ideally, you want to boil the water, mechanical filter, and uh, chemically filter your water. So, I'll put a link to this on Amazon. This goes in and out of stock. Uh, right now, it's $19 at the time of this video. Um, when the other manufacturers have it for sale, it goes up to like $27. So, you know, just, just wait. <laughs> but, you can get it for $19 a bottle. Um, I think there's new FDA regulations on it or something that they can only ship one bottle per day. But... I think one bottle is pretty much a lifetime supply. Um, yeah. So they wanted 300 parts per million at room temperature, so it's a lot more. Well, that's that's this, but 
when you dump in your bottle, I think it becomes four. I think so it is, or or four is your detection level per parts per million. I don't know. Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, I'm sorry, I wasn't even reading it. Uh, provides four parts per million per quart, so that's what you want for the disinfection. And then based on time and all that, so look at the um, the World Health Organization link I'm going to post to this, and um, you know where you can get it and stuff. But there you go, it's back on the market, and it, I guess it's been on the market for a couple of years again. I just hadn't looked. Uh, I tried this back, way back in the day. I just didn't really like iodine, but I guess that's a smell, and, you know, you deal with it, <laughs> you know. <clears throat> so, I'll try the chlorine dioxide is what I'm going to get, but right now, here's a list of the temperatures. I'm going to keep this with the with the package. Um, I thought about the little aquarium thermometers that are stick-on, but the range was so big, and you'd have to have so many and let you cut it up. I didn't want to do that, so I'll just get the electronic one where I can dump it in there. I mean, in emergency, I guess you could always use four, or uh, two caps, or four caps, or whatever it is. Whatever it says on there, I don't know. But like I said, this doesn't, this, uh, this on scale is hit or miss, according to people, and, uh, I can kind of see it, but it always seems to stay down here about four. I don't know if you could see that now. But no matter what, you know, at four degrees, at, uh, four capfuls, it's telling me we're at, we're at 41 degrees, and I know, like I said, right now, we are at, come on, 77. So, yeah. So, that's why I'll go buy my external thing, but I don't think you're going to overdose. But that's, you know, this is all up to you and make your choice. I'll put links to, to everything I mentioned in this video, including this here, uh, the sheet to print out, which is actually from the Polar Pure site. I think it was Polar Pure Water, I'm not sure. But there you go. Um... It, it's a good thing to have. It's a prep. It's cheap. And, <clears throat> and water is so terribly, terribly important. You know, the rules of three, you know, you need water. I mean, you can go without food and all that, <clears throat> but water, you you got problems. And and if you get, um, you know, what is it, dysentery or whatever, you're going to you're gonna dehydrate extremely quick. Extremely. So, go ahead and... You know, well, my opinion is pick one up. I did. This is what, all my all my opinions are what I do and what I think. So I'm babbled on now for good grief, seven minutes, seven and a half minutes. All right, it's it's for sale now on Amazon. Uh, I believe you can order directly from them too if you want. But I'll put the Amazon link because we're building money to give out a gift prize here, and we got something coming up very cool. But that's for another time right now. All right, let's look at paper. Please rate, subscribe, and remember. You can use it for iodine for your thyroid um, in an event. I mean, I don't, I'm not saying use like a medicine every day for people with thyroid problems, but yeah, there you go. Um, like I said, it doesn't it doesn't expire. You know, it's mineral. But there you go. Have a good one, everybody. So, Camp Prepper, please rate, subscribe, and you know, have a great day. It took me a long time to find this. I was actually on the manufacturer's website, the uh, the chart here, but. Anyway, I'll put links to everything below. Have a great day, everybody. Let's get a paper out.